everybody, Heather from Hooked on Cooking here. We're going to go over our weekend sales. And so I'm going to share with you how much I made on each one of my online selling platforms. And we're going to go over Amazon Merchant Fulfill, Amazon FBA, my fire sale on Fridays. If you haven't been to one of my Friday fire sales, come check me out noon on this channel. Uh, my Hooked on Cooking sales, my Poshmark sales, my Macari sales. Facebook Marketplace sales, and then last but not least, my eBay sales. So we'll see how much I made this last weekend on all my online selling platforms. Okay, we're going to go over everything that I sold on Amazon Seller Central, Seller Fulfilled. So these are items that I had to ship myself. They were not at the warehouse. I have three total items, so let's see what I sold. Okay, so here are the three items that I sold. So let's take a look at them up close. Right here you see my first item I sold for $19.99. So that is a Bally Beauty by Women's Back Smoothing Underwear Bra. And then the next item I sold was a Negresso Sports Brella. I sold that for $19.99 as well. And then last but not least, one of these panels I sold a Project 62 Blackout Window Valance. A lot of you have been asking, where do you sell one curtain panel? Well, Amazon is a great place to sell it. And that one I sold for $42.86. So we're going to add all that up and see how much we made. So on Amazon Seller Fulfilled, after all of the fees, I made a total of $58. All right, next up is Fulfillment by Amazon. Let's see how many items we sold over the weekend for Amazon FBA. Okay, the first thing we sold was a Hasbro Overwatch Ultimate Series Sombra 6-inch collection action figure. She sold for $11.50. Then next we sold this Mickey Mouse Creeper 2-pack bodysuit for babies, sold for $14.45. Then this Rebellious One Junior striped shirt sold for $12.99. Then this Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield Elite Trainer Box sold for $32.99. Then this Columbia Women's uh, Snapback Hat Breathable and Adjuster that says Happy Camper on it sold for $18.75. We sold another hat, uh, Washington Huskies sold for um, $19.95. Then we sold this Unikitty building Lego set, sold for $14. Then another NCAA men's stitch hat, Texas Tech Red Raiders, sold for $15.79. Then this Rick and Morty Funko mystery box, sold for $6.28. Then the Smarties bubblegum Easter eggs candy, sold for $4.40. This Beavers Oregon State t-shirt sold for $12.99. Uh, this fun, ugly looking plush toy Fuggler sold for $17.24. And we sold another one for $17.24. Then we sold another Smarties for $4.40. And then also a um, doll dress clothes sold for $12.99. And then last but not least, we sold this Arizona brand uh, snapback hat for $13.87. So those were all of our Amazon sales. Let's add those up and see what we come to. After we added everything up, it ended up being 16 total orders for $160, and that is after the 30% fees. All right, next up is last week's fire sale. Um, that was 41 different buyers bought for my fire sale, and we ended up with a profit of $1,450. I'm just waiting for a couple more people to pay, but almost everybody has paid and have their shipment already in route. So $1,450 on last week's Friday noon Central Standard Time a fire sale. All right, let's see how much money we made on regular sales for Hooked on Pickin' this last weekend. All right, so what did we sell on Hooked on Pickin'? Well, we sold a bunch of different things. First and foremost, we sold some of my fun reseller cards. You can get these digitally or in regular laminated cards. This one was actually a laminated card sale, and as you can see, you get three fun cards. It has a checklist on the back with a bunch of guides on reselling. So those sold for $24.99. 
Then next we sold to another customer. She bought four of these fun Hatchimals as well as one of these cute doll outfits for a total sale of $19.76. Then I sold a How to Create a Profitable Poshmark Store ebook. This is an awesome ebook that contains every way to sell on Poshmark and how to make the most sales. And that's a digital download, so you get it immediately emailed to you as soon as you purchase. So this was $29.99 that I sold that. Um, and then I also sold to another customer one of these Harry Potter Quidditch Draco Malfoy 10-inch action figures for $5.99. Then, of course, another customer also bought one of my reseller checklist cards, as well as buying a how to create a profitable Poshmark store. And it has all of these different categories. Why sell on Poshmark, where to get inventory, how to create my first listings, how to sell my items, Hooked on Pickens top tips, and who is Hooked on Pickens. So a little brief synopsis of why I can talk reasonably informative about Poshmark. So that total um, of both of those sales was $54.98. And then last but not least, someone bought this fun game that I've had for sale on my Hooked on Pickens store for $7.99. So let's add all that up and see how much we made on Hooked on Pickin. Our total sales for Hooked on Pickin this last weekend was $143. All right, let's see what we sold on Poshmark this last weekend and how many different orders it was. Poshmark. So we have got these Journey Collection High Heel Cream Shoes that we made $2.93 on. That's what they look like. They're super cute. And then next we sold a Game of Thrones socks for $3.05. They look like this. They come in a package like this. One week of socks, we sold some of these on our um, fire sale, so that was really fun. Then next for $3.93, we sold this beautiful New With Tags Exhilaration Side Pocket Ruffle Front Dress. Then for $5.93, we sold this New With Tag Style & Company Scoop Neck Seam Tunic Tee. Then for $0.93, cents, a big whopping $0.93, cents, we sold this Style & Company Blue Denim Sleeveless Top. And the Style & Company, I believe, is one that we got for 80 some odd cents. So it's been on there for a while. We didn't lose money, but we didn't make a lot. Then next we sold this uh, for 93 cents. We've had these on there forever. Uh, these Journey Collection High Heel Shoes Gray. So it's one less item to have to share on Poshmark. Then for $9.88, we sold these Capris. Perfect time of the year to sell these. Um, new with Tag Style & Company Mid-Rise Comfort Waist Skimmer Capris. Then for $5.93, we sold this bundle. It included two items, this World Tour sleeve, Short Sleeve Crop Graphic T-shirt and this Pull-On Tummy Control Jeans Velvet Striped Pants. Then for $9.88, we sold this Karen Scott Stonewall Capris with silver buttons. Then for $12, we sold this New With Tags Alfani Tummy Control Pull-On Stretch Capris. Then um, for, believe it or not, we sold fanny packs. $7.93 we made on these two Jansport fanny packs. So bundling is always a good idea, making a listing with more than one item, because then you can make some good money. Then we have another bundle that we made $14.96, and that included this cute Path Travel Travel Bag, this cute blue tote, and some makeup. Then we have another bundle that we made $16.80 on. It included this regular fit v-neck metallic satin cami and this Wild Fable women's bias cut midi skirt that was lime green and this regular fit v-neck metallic satin cami that was gold. Then we have this huge, huge bundle. Look at this thing. Seven separate items, which we made $42.40 on, and it included... Slimming Tummy Control Straight Leg Jeans, size 6. Um, new with Tag, Stars Above Perfectly Cozy Pajama Pants. Square Neck Sleeveless Tie Front Crop Jumpsuit. This New with Tag Style & Company Front Split Sleeve Floral Top. This New with Tag Style & Company Off the Shoulder Cap Sleeve Top. This Women's White Denim Bermuda Shorts with Cuff. 
And last but not least, a New Day regular fit V-neck v -neck velvet black cami. Then next we sold the uh, for $2.05 this pair of Vivid INC Skinny Leg High Rise Dark Red Pants. Then for $6.05, and where am I getting that number? It sold for 9 Poshmark fees are here, and this is my earnings. So I'm giving you all numbers after fees. This was a pair of women's petite cotton mid-rise capri pants that are black. Then for $13.88, we sold this new with tag style and company mid-rise high cuffed capri uh, jeans. Then for a dollar five, we sold this cotton razorback bralette. And then for seven dollars and five cents, we sold this beautiful new with tags and new day black black dressy midi skirt with slit. Then for eight dollars and ninety three cents, we sold an XXL of this cute jump shoot, jumpsuit. Then for two dollars and five cents, we sold this seamless macrame acid wash bralette uh, that is black in color. And then we have two more things that we sold. Let me scroll up and get to those. We sold this cute bundle which uh, for $13.88, which included um, these two items. So first is a new with tags, INC Essential Skinny Leg Curvy Fit Denim Pants, and this beautiful emerald green blouse. And last but not least, our last set of sales for this weekend was a a black pair of shorts for seven dollars and five cents that look like this so we're going to add all of that up all of my earnings up for this weekend and let's see what it completely totals out to so total sales on poshmark ended up being this last weekend 199 dollars after all my fees next up makari let's see what we sold there the first item i sold was this joy Monago 40 count hangers that are velvet. I actually sold two of those. So I sold a second one as well for $39 and I do offer free shipping. So I will give you total profit numbers after all of my shipping and fees are paid for. Then I also sold this really cute swimways dive uh, torpedo kind of things, dive pools. And then um, I sold this Karma Kings game. And then I also sold this Room Essentials 3 Shelf Hanging Closet Organizer. I still have one of these left on my Macari store. And then I sold a Stitched Edge Curtain Panel by Threshold that is 84 inches long. So those are my sales on Macari. Let's add them up after all my fees. After adding everything up and taking off all my shipping costs, because I usually do free shipping, $55 is what I made on Macari. All right, I actually sold two items on Facebook Marketplace, so let's see what they are and how much money I made. So first, I sold this beautiful Threshold 22-inch round seagrass handcrafted wall mirror. I sold it for $15, exactly what I was asking for. And then next, I sold this hearth and hand wall mirror and five hanging hooks. That's black metal. Um, I had it listed for $15, and I took an offer of $10. So let's see what our total is. On Facebook Marketplace, I made a total of $25. All right, did I even sell anything on eBay? I barely have anything listed on eBay, so let's see if I did. Okay, so I sold one box of this for $7, and then another customer bought two boxes for $14, and then another customer bought a pack of 100 um, Lego pieces that I sort, and they are all Lego, they're not Mega Blocks or any off brand, so a hundred gray assorted Legos for $9.75. After fees, that makes my eBay sales $24 for this last weekend. Would you like to make tons of money selling on Poshmark? Well, check out my new ebook, How to Create a Profitable Poshmark Store. Why do we sell on Poshmark? Where to get my inventory? how to create my first listing, how to sell my items, and then of course I give you also all my secrets on my top tips. If you'd like to purchase this ebook, just go to hookedonpicking.com or click the link in the description below. So that brings my weekend sales to $2,114, not too shabby, and these are numbers after all of my fees. So hopefully it's been fun to watch all of my weekend sales and uh, see what I earned. And of course, remember in the end, Jesus wins.
Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.